let's go ahead and get started. So today, I'm going to be taking my first dive into Pioneer. It was announced today by uh, SCG that the uh, Invitational is actually going to be Pioneer in Modern instead of Standard in Modern like it normally is, which is like a little scary from my perspective because I have to like test this brand new format from scratch that I haven't been consuming as much content on as I want it to be. Um, and like this is two weeks before the Invitational, right? Like the last open was last weekend and so we're halfway through the first week of two weeks off um, and we suddenly got the format switched. So I'm excited because Pioneer looks like a far more interesting format to test, but I'm a little worried because it's a lot of work to do in very little little period of time, um, especially when there's still a little bit of change going on in modern too. But nonetheless, I think it's overall going to be a good change for both viewership and for the actual like tournament play itself. It just means I have to do more work, which oh, woe is me. I have to play more magic, right? But um, so this is literally going to be my first few games of Pioneer. I haven't really been able to look into much as much of the format as I wanted to because I've been testing a lot of modern for the opens. And this is where I wanted to start. When Pioneer was announced, this is exactly what I my head went to. This is what I was most excited about. Let's let's Splinter Twin people. I want to see Healy Rai. I want to fill out our Guardian. And that just seems like the most busted thing to be doing to me. It's like, why, why are we not Splinter Twinning people? It seems like just good value deck and let's Splinter Twin people. So this is kind of where my head went. Um, I tried to stream a my own version of this deck last week for Ace, who is a wonderful subscriber that supports me. As a sub list, I was going to put my own list together and run with it. And I mean, this list is closer to my list than, you know, further than it is far away. But there's still a lot of things they're doing here that are not uh, not as, I don't know, not, not, not where my head was. I, I didn't really like the energy thing going on. Nobs, thanks for the resub. Three months in a row. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Um, and so I still am not sure if the energy thing is actually good. It does fix your mana, like with your Aether Hubs, like in your... Uh, do you have a tune? We don't have a tune. So yeah, with Rogue Refiner, it does let you... Um, it does let you cast your four mana, like your four different color spells. Words are so hard today. Um, and I think that's going to be valuable. Our deck is especially mostly green, and so like... We have a lot of not green spells we're trying to cast on turn two with our one mana mana dorks. And so we're going to need a lot of help from our mana base, which the mana, having the Fetchlands Band of Pioneer does impact the mana pretty heavily in this format. So I'm interested to like keep an eye on that as we play. Like my three Inspiring Vantage, like eight or nine one drop deck is just like going to be pretty tough. But we have Oath and Nissa to help figure things out. But like I said, almost all of our one drops, 13 one mana green things that we want to cast in turn one. Inspiring Vantage doesn't cast any of them. And so we have a lot of lands that don't cast our 13 one drops, and that might be a little ridiculous. But this list is the list that got fifth place in the challenge by Mental Misstep. Congratulations on your finish. Um, I like a lot about what's going on here. I'm interested to dive in, give it a try, um, and yeah, just kind of see what this what this archetype has to offer the Pioneer format. I still think the Delve spells are going to be pretty busted in this format, but I think one of the most powerful things you can be doing in Pioneer is playing with one mana mana creatures. The one mana removal spells in this format are like Fatal Push. End of story. Like, Wild Slash is literally just a shock, right? Like, this is not an exciting card to play with. So, like, people aren't going to be packing as much one-mana removal spells as you'd like to see in order to actually really be able to check the one-mana mana creatures in this format. And so I think, overall, if you can have a one-mana mana creature, then you are going to be in the advantage in most matchups. Hey, how's it going, Mason? Twitch chat OP. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Uh, hey, Ryan, how are you? So, yeah. Okay, thanks for the bitch, Jenny. Two OP. Facts. Um, 20 Milans also seems about right. I think we probably want a 22nd. I don't I don't know. I don't know if the distribution between our mana creatures and our land count is correct, but that is something I'm gonna be looking at and trying to keep in mind as we play. I can't really comment too much on the mana base outside of, like I said, Aether Hub, the mana confluence. This mana base looks like nonsense to me. But I don't really know what the paradigm for mana bases in Pioneer is going to be. So I'm only going to say that I don't know. And we're going to remark on it as we play. And see, like, at the end, we'll be like, okay, I want more of these sources. I want more of these sources. Less of these sources, right? But as it, as it stands right now, I'm a little nervous about the inspiring vantages and, like, the basic island and stuff. And I'm a little, a little nervous about land count versus, like, mana creature numbers. I don't know what's correct. But we're going to keep our eye on it as, an eye on it as we play. Um... Oath of Nissa is really exciting to me. I think that's a card that's like very powerful in this deck, allowing us to cast our rather rather symbol intensive 
uh, planeswalkers. We have, you know, a blue white walker, a blue red planeswalker, and a blue green planeswalker. Literally all four colors represented on cards we want to be casting on turn two off of a <laughs> off of a green creature, right? And a green source that casts that creature. So or, we're asking a lot of our mana base and Oath of Nyssa, if we don't have it necessarily on turn two, is going to help fix our mana a lot. And, of course, find us some of these powerful walkers if we just don't have the walkers. Um... We got a two Lenore Elves, two, like three Elvish Mystics, four Gilded Goose. That's kind of where I was at with my mana creatures. I'm not sure what the right split is, but Gilded Goose being able to tap for a mana of any color definitely makes up for the fact that it's just like not as good of a mana creature. Like you can only cast something once before you have to create food somehow to make more mana. So, and we're only trying to cast three drops on turn two, right? So like after we cast our three drop, we have time to maybe do other things because we're already ahead of the curve. I think the Wild Slashes look like nonsense, but probably aren't. We need to be able to, like, disrupt the Sahili combo for, out of other decks, and we also need to be able to kill one mana mana creatures out of other decks as well. So that's something I think is probably going to be pretty good. Uh, the one Once Upon a Time looks like utter nonsense. I, I feel like this is a card we either want, like, three or four of or, like, none, but I don't know. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try it before I knock it, but it does seem, it does seem a little out of place. The two Heart of Kieran's I like a lot. I don't want to be heavy on Heart of Kieran. I don't want like three or four, but having having a nice two to be able to defend the the walkers if we have a curve of just like Oath of Nissa into Heart of Kieran into like Planeswalker seems really powerful. And also obviously lets us pressure other Planeswalkers, so it'll give us an advantage in the Planeswalker asymmetry. So really big fan of Heart of Kieran in this deck, being able to defend our walkers. And then we have our pile of three mana spells. So we have like I guess Brazen Borrow is kind of like a two-mana spell, but eh, realistically it's a three-mana spell. Brazen Borrow also just kind of looks like nonsense in this deck. I don't really know what we're trying to bounce. Like, the creature's fine, lets us pressure walkers at instant speed and stuff like that. But, like, what are we trying to bounce? Why do we need a bounce effect in this deck? To, like, pick up our own Felidar Guardian in response to the removal spell? Like, that's a lot of mana. What are we doing here? I, I don't really know. But, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try it before I knock it. And... Overall, it's just like probably not a spell we're casting on three. I guess it's kind of like a two mana spell. But the rest of these 16 cards are all three mana spells. Very three mana top loaded. Um, got four Sahelis to pair with our four Felidar. So it makes sense. Uh, two Rogue Refiners is some calculations, but I guess it does help with our Aether Hubs. And it does draw a card. It's a good thing to just like flicker with Felidar or just value copy with Sahili. You saw this happen in Standard a lot. Um... Oko, just a busted Planeswalker. If you've been on Twitter or Facebook at all, you know exactly how broken this card is because people won't shut up about it. And Teferi is kind of the last of the broken Planeswalkers we're putting in our deck. Seely's not even broken. Honestly, Seely, ironically, is the least powerful of the walkers we have in our deck. But Teferi and Oko are so powerful that being able to just slam them on two is usually going to give you a huge leg up in any given game. Last but not least, we got Reflector Mage. This is another value card to copy. It just kind of enters play. Obviously picks up a creature, and then it's good to copy later or flicker with Felidar Guardian. So a little bit more synergies with our other three and four mana spells just kind of allow us to get a little bit more value out of it. Overall, I think Felidar Guardian flickering Oath of Nissa is going to be one of the most common lines, but this is just something else that gives our deck a little bit more utility and a little bit more play to it that uh, people may not be ready for. So pretty exciting. Pretty excited about the main deck. Makes a lot of sense. Um, some of the slots and the numbers, I think, may be nonsense, but that's why we're here to iterate. Going over the sideboard real quick, like I said, I don't know what's available in the format, so I'm just going to rock it through this pretty quickly. Uh, rest in peace, I've seen a few graveyard decks around. I've also seen Phoenix decks, so having access to some of the most powerful graveyard hit in the format seemed, or in Magic is actually really sweet. I'm excited about the fact we have access to Rest in Peace. I had a lot of rhetoric is likely for the Just Guy Ascendancy decks and, like I said, the Phoenix decks. Phoenix did pretty well in the first challenge, so I'd expect a fair bit of it around. Um, and the Ascendancy decks, it probably just hard shuts down, so pretty interested in that. Surge of Righteousness is probably for the Mono Red deck. I think the Mono Red deck's pretty reasonable. And it's a like nice, efficient removal spell that also gains some life, incidentally. Powerful stuff. Pretty pretty big fan. Veil of Summer. People complain about this card a lot in Standard, too. It's one of the best counter plays to both discard spells and counter spells, both of which I expect to be popular in this format. Thoughts he's being the prevalent and premium form of uh, interaction in the format. So I'd expect Veil of Summer to come in handy in Thoughts he's matchups. Mystical Disputes, actually pretty good against our deck. So, like, if you think about it, we're trying to slam these walkers onto, and they're all blue. Like, this is a one-mana card that I think is actually one of the most underrated cards in this format, and I'm really, really excited to have two copies of this in our, in our sideboard. Uh, moving on, we got Sorcerer Spyglass, likely for, like, Marvel decks and other Planeswalker decks. Seems reasonable to me. Answers walkers pretty cleanly. Answers, like I said, Marvel pretty cleanly. Just nice to have access to a Pithing Needle card, but I don't exactly know what specific matchups we want it for. 
Deafening Clarion, this card also screams kind of the Modern Red matchup to me. I don't think we're going to be giving our creatures lifelink as much, but having access to a Sweeper is very, very powerful, especially a three-mana Sweeper that we can play on two. The problem with the Sweeper is that it does pick up our own mana creatures, so we're going to have to keep that in mind when we're citing this card, and mana creatures are kind of bad against Modern Red anyway, so we'd be boarding some of those out as it stands. And Knight of Autumn, still good in the Modern Red matchup, but also good in spots where we want to... Hey, Capogo, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. It's good to see you. Um... Anyway, it's good in the matches where we want to blow up artifacts and enchantments. Also, in matches where we just want a blocker or when we gain four life. Obviously, a very flexible card. But in general, I think this is going to be more of an artifact enchantment hate. I've seen some affinity decks running around. I've seen some like fires of invention decks. I want to be able to blow that stuff up. Uh, it feels like that makes a lot of sense to me. Without further ado, let's dive in. Let's answer some questions too. All right, I'm a bigger fan of Russell. Dude, Russell's the best. How's it going, Russell? Appreciate you stopping by. Yes, I want to do this. Play League match. Let's find ourselves our first Pioneer opponent ever. How did you enjoy Wurza last weekend? Wurza was sweet. The deck was really hard, though. It took a long time to win. I found myself playing at a reasonable pace, my opponent playing at a reasonable pace, and I feel still found myself like going to time every round, which was really frustrating. It's like It kind of felt like old miracles, where you just had to play incredibly fast if you expected to like actually be able to finish your rounds. Tannen, how's it going, buddy? Why does your face hurt? The Drake is not a snake. Hello, hello. Why was I following you already? It's all good. No worries. Hi, Drake. Was awesome to hear you on the Control Freak podcast. Alex is a friend of mine, so it was a pleasant surprise. Hey, thanks, King. That was actually a lot of fun to do. I really appreciate podcasting. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's something I look to explore in the future a little bit more. I really like podcasting. I'll be at something. Yeah, you will. You better be Tannen. Couldn't play Love Letter with you in between rounds because of words. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. All right, let's take a look at this hand. Hey, look, we have something busted on turn two. You love to see it. Snapkeep. Yeah, see, this is like the power of our deck, right? Like, we just we have the London Mulligan that if our hand isn't busted, we just mulligan into a mana creature plus something to do on turn two. This hand's just like even more than that, though. Why do I have a stop in the upkeep? An irrigated farmland strategy. Bold. Um, well, I mean, Charles Barkley, <laughs> thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, Gilded Goose, don't kill it, please. White doesn't have great removal, so I would be shocked if they're not in, like, Jeskai or something. If they're not in Jeskai, we're in great shape. Bant. Okay. Are they, like, a sensor deck? What am I expecting here? If they pass... I don't know that I want to play a Planeswalker. Hmm. So we have three mana. I guess it's just fine to slam walkers. I want to lead on to Fairy, though, because I don't know what's happening here. And I feel like if like this is the least... Like, we have literally every Planeswalker in our hand, right? And it's, like, the least powerful one. It's going to be good when we can Oath of Nyssa, but I'd like to just play this in plus and keep it around so we can protect the rest of our stuff. All right. Uh, let's make blue. Sacrifice the food. White, blue, whatever. Slam this, get it countered, and then we're just going to play Planeswalkers for the rest of the game until they stop countering my shit. Probably sensor. Oh. It's just like... Oh, shit. This might be Nexus. I didn't think Nexus would be bad. I don't know why they're in white. It seems like you have the tools in blue and green already. Um, I'm going to plus this up. And pass. I don't know what kind of instant speed interaction they have, but I'm probably going to try to pick up this Oath of Nessa later. Elvish Rejuvenator, sure. Does it reveal the cards, or does it just look? It looks. Seaman Visions, that eh? <laughs> what are we viewers? How do you not know the commands, Jenny? What are you doing? Field of the Dead, huh? Alright. Well, let's Oko make a food, sack the food, Oath of Nessa, go looking for a Felidar Guardian. I think our Field of the Dead matchup is going to be pretty good because the Felidar Guardian thing goes over the top of Field of the Dead stuff. So we're gonna spend our turns NASCARing from here, I think. 
So let's plus up, make a food, stack this for green, play an oath of Nyssa. Okay. We found a rogue refiner. So this is actually an interesting decision because we don't have more land drops to make. Like we have plenty of three mana stuff we want to play as well as plenty of oath of Nyssa's we want to play. I think I'm actually going to take the mana creature here because I think the mana matters more. So let's take the Elvish Mystic. This can go in any order. Now the question is whether or not I'm going to pick up my Oath of Nyssa here. I don't want them to be able to attack my Teferi down, but I don't think they are going to be able to, so I'm just going to pick up the Oath of Nyssa. Alright, we drew a land, which is pretty sweet. Go. Planeswalkers, blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if that word's still banned, Jenny. <laughs> You're just like spamming the commands. Hmm. That's a problem. How many things is this going to give them? One, two, three, four, five. So they're going to get four zombies? That's not so bad. We can beat that. We're going to need to develop our mana in such a way that we can win in the same turn. So we need, I think, five mana or whatever to, in order to go fell out our guardian. So you, no, you need six mana, right? You fell out our guardian, flicker a land. Yeah. They found blast zone. That's rough. All right. We basically have a turn to kill them. Attacking to fairy. Okay. Wild slash. Plus up to fairy. Um... Three, four, let's Oath of Nyssa. We're just gonna go looking for Felidar Guardian. Found one, in the order. Now, what do I wanna do? I feel incentivized to block for Teferi. So like, I definitely wanna develop my mana. So I want to play Elvish Mystic. And I want to take Oko up. Take Oko up. Yeah, and then we can hold up Wild Slash and hopefully they don't kill Teferi. And then next turn, we have access to one, two, three, four, five, six. Four mana flicker of land. Yeah, okay. So there's lands, right? Yeah, so we have a kill next turn if we can just keep Teferi around. I don't know what kind of removal they have access to. This needs to be expanded. <laughs> yeah, these commands are wild. <laughs> they were made by, like, a few of my first subs, like, a long time ago. And just, I just don't go through and delete my commands at all. What is this? Blow up. Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. Wow, I'm bad. Hmm. I forgot that this blows up the mana creatures. Uh, that's fine. Am I dead in two? I'm dead in two if they attack me. Maybe they'll attack the walkers. That'd be nice. Because I have to be able to play some creatures. Okay. Okay. Can animates. This is gonna be tough to live. That blast zone being surprisingly relevant. Although I don't really know what I would have done otherwise. Like, I don't think I can just not play the creatures. Maybe I just don't shock. This is all coming at Oko. This is coming at Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we just, like, shoot one at Oko. All right. I think this lets them live. Six. Tef. 
Fine by me. Because this lets me animate and get a blocker. I don't know if that lets me live, but it looks like it does. So we need lands and we need... We just need help. Oath. Okay. Um... I think I'm supposed to just take a land here. I don't think Reflector Mage really actually helps me in any meaningful way. Any order. Let's let's actually do some math. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 18. So we're dead if we have no blockers. But we can make a blocker. Oath of Nyssa. I don't care. Okay. Breeding pool, inspiring vintage. Don't think it super matters. The question is, can we live to shock? So we block three, take two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. We cannot. Unless. What can we do? I don't really know. I mean, like take a reflector mage, that just doesn't really seem to do it. Just take the breeding pool. Any order. Just hope to draw like the basic or an aether hub. Seems fine. It's not a great plan, but it's a plan. Um Shock play another Oko doesn't do anything, it doesn't save me life in any way. So yeah, like I said, if they I think if they play well we're just dead. Yeah, well, this one's a good card. Okay. Block your land. Take a billion. Hope to draw Aether Hub. Ding! Wow, what's it like being so skilled? Watch, we'll still just like get countered or whatever and die anyway. <laughs> oh man. All right, we have to play the Felidar Guardian first. Uh, that requires white mana, you idiot. Um, Felidar Guardian. Look at this. Yes, I would like to use this ability. Red. See Healy. Are we dead? Do I win? I gave him my best my best shot. Make a thing. Her. Always yes. Always yield. Boom! Got him. Look at that. Always had it, chat. I always had it. I don't I'm, I don't know. <laughs> what are you thinking? Always had it. So this is a matchup where the combo is going to be good. And we need access to interaction. Because they're going to bring the interaction against us. Because we're going to be able to outrace them. Their deck is slow and is going to go over the top of any fair plan we have. Nubs, I didn't want to expose my Felidar Guardian to a... Uh, to a removal spell from their main phase. I get the opinion, like I'm of the opinion that a lot of their cards are going to be expensive on mana and slow. Um, we don't really have a great way to interact with lands. Which is awkward. And maybe like, maybe this format needs some kind of like blood moon or something. Like I don't know what, what does, while we're sitting here, what does that one moon do? Blood sun? I guess you could alpine moon people. All lands lose all ability except mana abilities. Okay, yeah, so like Blood Sun might be a card that this deck wants to consider in the future, especially because you can turn to it if like the Scape Shift deck gets really good. Um, in the meantime, what matters? Like what actually matters? I don't think this card matters at all. I think most of our interaction is going to like suck. 
Like, counter spells seem potentially attractive, but our counter spells aren't very good. I like Veil of Summers a lot. I think our Reflector Mages kind of suck. I think our Heart of Kirins kind of suck. I just want a combo. I want to draw cards. I want to play some walkers. I want a combo. Uh, the, the Oko's, like, kind of bad, but I think they're, like, just fine enough. Actually, let's just let's keep the hearts. Let's keep the hearts. Um, what are they gonna do? What's common hate for this deck? I don't really know. What, what are we thinking? This butte seems good. They like to jam threats. Yeah, but it's expensive, right? Like none of the threats are actually blue, right? So like I'm like trying to like three mana cancel a hour promise. That seems kind of loose. Is this insane? This feels insane. Keeping all my mana creatures in. Such a problem, man. I guess we'll leave this idiot in. We'll just board in something else. Let's try one of these. I don't know why I want this. All right, I'm off it. This is just, I'm literally just making stuff up. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know if they can have their sideboard. I suspect it's counter spells. I want Veil of Summers. Disputes might just be better. I think there's a chance I was supposed to put Disputes in my deck. No second land, but three Goosers. We can do better. Mulligan. Once upon a time, one mana mana creature, Walkers. We keep that. Um, Let's get rid of... They mold a five. Wow. They must be looking for something. I don't think Art's very good in this hand. I think there's a chance our mana creature dies. What is this? Gonna be like a ley line? Oh, they're just putting a card on bottom. Oh, they're putting two cards on bottom. How are things? They're excellent. Nintendo. Thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. A Boreal Greaser on a Mulligan. That's rough. Doesn't feel like that makes a lot of sense because now your card, now your hand's a two-card hand. Abort increasers are not very good when you mulligan because they accelerate you in ways that like you're gonna do anyway. Like you don't have the the excess cards to still make your land drop every turn after your Boreal grazer. I bet like turn four they miss their land drop or whatever, right? Like because it's just like it just doesn't matter. I think this is like kind of nonsense. All right, I want a second land. Ideally a blue land, but I guess I'll take a white land. I guess we have a goose. Okay, we have a goose. So in that case, I'll take the white land. All right, yeah, I'll take this. Um, I don't know that it matters. Shock. Green. Goosers. Go. <laughs> just combo faster and clown this dingus that's the plan I don't know how good of a plan it is block <laughs> um sure let's run it back white blur 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 counter me you didn't you get an F plus I wonder if they have like an Aether Gust or something. Deal. See, look at this. And Growth Spiral on your Mulligan? Uh... Oh, that's a good draw. That's a really good draw. That is a really good draw. Um. What do I want to do? I could play Sahili and just plus, but then they can like just tick their blast on up to three. That kind of sucks. I don't want that to happen. Maybe I should have bought in a Sorcerer's Spyglass with a Steward card. I didn't think they'd have it. Okay, I'm gonna play Heart of Kirin, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and play Lanor Elves. And I think I'm going to tick Teferi up. I think I'm gonna pass. It's tempting to make food, but we can just play mana creature instead. And like, I like being able to further my board with Hardicure and 
All right, this is the turn I said they missed their land drop. They have an extra land. Do they have a land drop? Boom! What'd I tell you? They missed their land, and they missed off Rejuvenator. Hey, Will Jonathan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate your work. You're fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. Don't keep up Oreo Grazers when you Molo. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, feels pretty free to just animate this and attack them. Like, maybe we just beat them down with this thing. Might just be, like, fine. Um, I don't know if I want to expose Saheeli, because they still do have this. If this ends up taking a while for me to find... Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Well, well, RS. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I'm surprised I wasn't following sooner. My bad. Pioneer looks fun. Can't wait to get into playing it more. Yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. It's pretty deep, too. Like, there's a lot of interaction going on here that I was not ready for. Like, this turn's pretty hard. Like, what matters, right? Could pick this up, replay it for a food. It feels kind of dumb. I don't want to do that. If I just pick this clown up, beatdowns. It feels kind of dumb, too. Could pick this up and there's like, this is just attacks. That also feels kind of dumb. I do want to draw a card. Maybe I reflector mage this crew using mana. And like, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. What am I doing? Um, I want to draw a card. I think it's pretty free to pick this up, so I'm going to do that. All right, we hit our land drop, which is nice. It's going to take them two turns if they want to blast on both my three drops, but they will succeed. That doesn't feel good. So let's make a food. Reflector mage this. I don't want to reflect mage this. That's really bad. I just want to make my land drop. Alright, yeah, let's screw this. Sure. Hi -ya. Is this a greedy attack? This kills him in four. I'm actually doing this. This is kind of sick. I bet they trade the Elvish Rejuvenator off. Yep. Green. This thing. Go. Next turn we can like take this up, Reflector Mage, use Reflector Mage to crew and beat down. It's like I just kinda of beat him down with this hard. I don't want to expose my other planeswalker. I think I put a land in. They didn't put a land in chat. What a punt. Alright, we hit our land drop again. Take this up. This is just like utter nonsense. I don't know. <laughs> what is this game? Blue, white. Another color, anemic beatdowns. Here come more anemic beatdowns. Goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to Plan C. All right, you're going to crack this. We're going to animate this. Crew with this, too. Got him. Done. All right, you blew up all the one drops. Congrats. Wait, oh, no, you just put a counter on it. Okay, I should have done that. Because they have a they have a creature land that can now attack my my to fairy, although I can't just remove a remove a thing. Oh, I went to instep. Oh no, it's okay. Should have played that land. Didn't punt. It's okay. They're just missing land drops. Um, so they can kill Hardikiran now, but if they kill Hardikiran, I get to Sahili. So. Pretty cool with me. Let's crew this by removing a counter. I want to incentivize them to sacrifice their land or they're going to die. Glad we left Hardy Cured in. I feel really smart. All right, blow up Hardy Cured in. They take three, still go to seven. Oh, no, they're just going to take it up. Okay, I'll just kill you. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand this. Nope. Uh, I'm going to hold the goose. I don't think it super matters, but I just would rather hold it. 
All right, your whole turn can be spent blowing up this Teferi, and then we play Sahili, animate this, and kill them. Seems fine to me. The Grazer! Oh, no! That blocks flyers. Oh, no. They don't let me untap. You have to do this main phase. Yeah, I was going to say, what? What are you doing? All right, you blew up my Teff, blew up my Reflector. Oh, I didn't make my food. Punt. Man, I'm just playing all kinds of bad. Uh, blue, white, red. Here's the Uh, the old one knee. Put that on bottom. Crew. Combat, yeet. There you go, go to one. My lethal threats. Okay, go. Punch, no kidding. <laughs> Draw extra land, you're right, Jenny. Well, we beat them in the face of a bunch of creatures. Yeah, look at this beatdown plan. This is a plan B and a half. It's just like hard to cure them to death. Honestly, this hard to cure has been disgusting. I kind of want more. After seeing this like performance out of hard to cure it's it's like plan B is so good. We're gonna need to see it in other matches, but that was that was a pretty impressive display from Hardy Kieran. I did not think Hardy Kieran was gonna be a power level of this of this format. Today's pun count. Look, I have such a low pun count. 1.41 per hour. Wow. That's so low. Why does Moto throw itself over here constantly? I don't understand. Articured and Copter are both really broken in this format. That's weird because I feel like this format is closer to the modern power level, and I feel like Articure and, and Copter aren't really modern power level. Yeah, I mean, I believe Oko is great. What's up, Jacob? Well, look at you. You have the little founder badge. It's really sweet. Uh, Keep. This has one mana creatures and walkers and stuff. Although we're about to get pushed. Holy redundancy, Batman. We have two three drops and we got two one mana creatures. Taste it. And we got a wild slash for their uh, JVP. Taste it. This hand is great against black based control decks. And we got an Oko. Oko is broco. Oh, they threw a goose. I can't cast this wild slash anymore. That's really frustrating. Oh shit, is this devotion? Oh no! Ab Ibracadabra wins? Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. This format is badass. It is neat. They took my Oko and they pushed my thing. I have three cards left in hand and I have four. Here's a land. Hopefully we draw any land, we can Rogue Refiner. If it's a red land, we get to Sahili the Rogue Refiner and that's going to be disgusting. Like our hand is still very good. Deal. Uh oh. I would like to be able to wild slash this, but as soon as they get to pump it, I don't get to wild slash it anymore. Fuck. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're just like playing against vampires? What the heck? Oh no! Oh no! Tilt. Okay. This is the last turn we probably have data land drop. Alright, well, that kind of counts. It's a red land, we could at least still wild slash. It's not even red land. Oh, gross. Gross, 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 gross. Hmm. We look dead. I guess we should play on. Train wreck, they get the follow, really appreciate it. Our mana looks pretty embarrassing right here. I wonder if we could just like survive long enough to combo them. We need only need to hit six mana. We could draw like running lands into Felidar or something. That could be, that'd be good enough. Hell, we can op Oko the stupid champion. Just like, there's a chance we could just like combo them eventually. It's going to take a bit, but we could. It's getting less likely. As we miss land drops, it's getting even more likely. Even less likely, I mean. 
All right, let's play this. Jump blocker. Need to draw land. Did. All right, go. What does this do? Deals the time of damage to player plus some missile counter on each attacking creature. Great. So we're at four. This will push us to six. If we draw a land and we have a wild slash to do nothing, we could just like. I don't really know. We're probably dead. Probably dead. Deals three. We can block five. Take four. I think we're dead. Look at Oko. Doesn't do much. Nykthos? Do you have a Grey Merchant too? Ah! Okay, we're dead. I get it. I get it. We're dead. Fine. You have Grey Merchant too. <laughs> Jenny just found literally every command and is having a field day. <laughs> Gas. No. Oh, Alright, I want Clarions. Bell is this? Does this kill walkers too? Walkers oh, so bad. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. All right, what sucks? I don't know. They drew like push double thoughtsies. I kind of feel like wild slash actually isn't that good. So I'm gonna board it out. I kind of feel like our mana creatures aren't actually very good either. So I'm gonna board some of them out. Board out one of each. Uh, I wish we had some way to increase our land count to Brazen Bar depresses me. Uh, Teferi is pretty medium. She had like eight Teferi. Just try to trim on the three drops a little bit. So we have more already coming in. Anything else we want to do? <laughs> Y'all are just absolutely massacring the poor DG bot. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Seems fun. We can like also Veil of Summer doesn't play well with mana creatures because like we want to be able to hold up our Veil of Summers on turn one. I wonder if you're supposed to like shock and oblige to like represent Veil of Summer. Like here, like what if I just didn't have this Oath of Nissa and just like shocked and fast? I mean, I'm keeping this hand. We're looking for lands off this Oath of Nissa, but like I don't know. I wonder if there's like a universe where you just like shock go and represent like Veil of, Veil of Summer and like black based mirrors like this make them like think twice about casting their thoughts either. I don't know they probably just jam it anyway and are just like Hurt her, if you have it like blow me out one mana cryptic command me bro that is my guess for what would happen but I don't know maybe it's a universe where it doesn't oh then as a find a land please land please land please land please land got my wish um well, I mean, I'm going to take the one that lets me actually cast my other spells. Well, I have no idea how to use Oath of Nessa. I guess we click on the walker first and then start selecting mana. That's probably how it works. Most people aren't smart enough to think twice. What do you mean? All it costs is two mana. Okay. All right. I'm over it. I'm off it. I'm off it. Bet, bet, bet. Pithing Needle! Okay. You're just gonna name a walker in the blind? I have like a thousand planeswalkers you wanna name and you haven't even thought sees me. Oko! But Oko is Broko. Alright, let's cantrip again. Cantrip. What are you doing here? Why are you tanking? Keep this one. Okay. What do we find? We found a goose and we found a land. This is an interesting decision point because we can play either. I think I'm going to take the land. Like, I don't want to give them targets for their fatal pushes. And I also just kind of want to be able to hit my land. I just want to be able to hit my land drops. Like, I want to be able to get to six mana and kill them one turn. What the hell? Gifted Aetherborn? What year is it? Okay, alright, alright, alright. I see you, I see you. Okay. Oh, check this out. We got a sweet freaking line. We need to go to Fairy, bounce this draw card, and if they like replay it or whatever, we just like fell at our guardian, like flicker the Teferi, rebounce something. Bleh. <laughs> 
Give me my energy. I want it. And I need it. Deferi. Yeet that gifted Aetherborn, please. Yeet it. 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 Ooh, and we found a deafening clarion. We just have all the things. And we can instant speed it with Teferi. Puke. Oh no! A, a creature land. Okay, fine. You have a sword. Can this kill my thing? Draw a card, lose a life. You got it, buddy. Um. So we felt our guardian, flick, bounce, draw, pass. Seems fine to me. Because they can't replay it yet. And we have a blocker for the Muta Vault. So they have to like have removal spell plus Muta Vault or whatever. Oh my gosh, just let the energy happen. Opponent, please. Why are you in the tank on Aether Hubs? Why did you slap me with a large trout, Jenny? What the heck? Where'd you even find this command? Did I make this command? <laughs> oh, you, ma you made it. You're just out here having a field day. <laughs> I added it. I see that. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, guess. All right, he's a fellow dark guardian. Look at this sweetness. This is sexy. This is like everything I want to do in magic. Look at this. Uh, taste it. Taste it. Yes, I would like to use this ability. And I would like to return this to your hand. Goodbye. Have a nice day. True mana creature. That's nice. And, like, we still have the combo, like, dialed up. They could kill Devere if they meant it, but it requires, like, sacking stuff. Dress me. Okay. I have no Veldar Guardians. I can just keep bouncing stuff with Devere. We can, we can do this all day. I have all the things. Block. Oh, I guess they can animate. Oh, they punted, I think. I think they can animate plus give it like death touch and life like or whatever and just like keep playing. Uh, what's punt time? Huh. I don't know if I want to play this into a potential deafening clarion I want to cast. What I want to do this turn is play Feldar Guardian, flicker to fairy again, pick up this, attack Soren down to one, play mana creature pass. Seems like a good turn to me. I don't really know what the potential downsides are. Well, probably shocking this end no matter what. So let's do that. This is disgusting. What the hell? <laughs> we just like bounce this to Oh, I guess I need to actually like tap reasonably. White, one other. Here's this thing. This is really fun. All right, Deferi. Okay. Yes, I would like to use Eldar Guardian's ability. Yeet that. See ya. Oath of Nyssa. All right, so I can Oath of Nyssa, try to find another Sahili, but I can kind of do that later. Kind of want to play a mana creature. I think that's what I want to do, play a mana creature. Combat. Attack Soren. The next turn, we can like line up a deafening clarion or whatever. They haven't really done a lot with their time. Okay. Just tick it up. You have something for four mana you want to do? Thoughtsies. Cool. I got multiple cantrips and a sweeper. What you want? Probably take this. The Eagle Dennis is the best card in our hand. Yeah, because it finds it finds the Ely. So makes sense. What is this? Another Soren? You don't know. You don't know what it is. Just a gift to date they're born. Okay. Draw. Drill land. Alright. Once upon a time. Find me something. 
Yikes. Okay. Wow. That's pretty bad. I guess I need red, so we'll take it. So we can clarion both modes. Tax Soren down. They kill Teferi. That's fine with Mutavolt. And we just play on. Okay. That seems okay. It seems like it favors me. Alright, let's do it. Plus combat Taxoran, Taxoran, go. It's kind of funny that they haven't been able to hold up Fatal Push every turn that I've been bouncing their stuff to be able to push like our fellow our Guardians. So like this lets them get the turn of just like paying two mana to kill a Teferi. They're not interested. They'd rather just play with a Soren. Fine by me. Put this thing back into play. Cool with that. Oath of Nyssa. Sure. Oath. I don't care. Saheeli. I think Saheeli just wins, right? No! Wait, no, this flies. So we can block this clown. What? Does it even fly? It doesn't even fly. We just need a blocker. Alright, plus. Uh, honk. Okay, play land, go. So like my plan here is chump. I'm not, ew, we could attack. I'm off it. I don't think, I don't think this, I don't think it matters if they have Soren or not. They can just like fire stuff up. We can double block and do all kinds of stuff. Could try out Thali as Lancer. That's a lot of mana. Black. Goose is going in front of that. Where is this even going yet? Okay. Block. Now this lets them fire up Mutavolt and then they can fire their Sorin. No, they can't because they already plus it up. What are they doing with the Sorin? They could have killed this Teferi pretty easily. It's so weird to me. Alright, we can pick up Oath of Nyssa and then we get like multiple looks at it. I might just do that. They're holding up a lot of mana. But... I think we're going to lose it next turn, and I'd rather just, like, pick it up. Wow. This is pretty rough. Oath of Nyssa again. Train. So, we can see Healy go for the win. Teferi just continue doing nothing. I'm going to see Healy go for the win, because going for the win is high upside. Um, here's this Healy. Alright. Minus two. Uh, try to fuck this. He dead? Cast down. Cast the darkness. Okay. Okay. Um. We can attack. He can block. Doesn't really matter. There we go. So, yeah, that's fine. We we like expected they were gonna have some amount of removal spells. We should have another grasp. Okay. Now we're probably dead. So much removal. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept the Teferi. Don't know. Could have found, like, I could have Teferi plus into, like, Othanissa again and maybe, like, kept Teferi around. Another one. Okay. <laughs> Joke's on you, my hands all lands. Felidar Guardian. Good Felidar Guardian and Othanissa. That goes for a win, right? Yeah, that does go for a win. All right, we have another shot at it. There is a train. Shoo. Well, then there's a... Sahili! Sahili! Yes, okay! <laughs> this is called stealing a win, chat. Wow. Yo, fam, this isn't looking good. What do you mean? They're dead. Boop. You got a gut shot? 
heat. Always, yes, always guild. What the heck? Oh my gosh, are you for real with this? Wait, no, I want to always guild. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Why is this so hard? Why won't it save? I guess because it's new instances of Felidar Guardian. Whatever, I'll just click every time. It's fine. This is fine. Nothing to see here. Don't be this person. This is like so miserable. What are that? 23? We have 16 minutes left. We have plenty of time. I can probably do this in two to three minutes. <laughs> Hope y'all uh, came here to watch me click a lot because that's what we're here to do. We're here to click. I don't even know how many of these I have. I'll figure it out. That'll tell me when I have like 10, I think. This is really worth their time, huh? All right. Why is it consolidating to this like justification? What the heck? It's so weird to me. Mm -hmm. Combo, 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 combo. Is that time that like most years play like Ride of the Valkyrie, right? Derp, 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 derp. What do we need? We need like they have one blocker. We need twenty four of these clowns. I guess we're getting close. gonna time me out that's the plan it's gonna work great I promise <laughs> I'm glad I did not play much of the standard online because I feel like this is exactly what it was like I think we're getting close. I'm gonna wait till I have 20 over here and then I'm just gonna like do it. I don't know what it plays around. It plays around something, I guess. This is the last one I'm gonna make. Uh, we have 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that should be plenty. Tiger Love Creatures at you. Felidar Guardians. Taste it. I love how they haven't even F6. Like, oh, I guess they have, and it just makes them choose blockers. All right, that was a excellent use of our time. All right, Teferi looked kind of good there. I kind of feel like an idiot for cutting a Teferi. Give me this Teferi back. Teferi looked great. Um, so they have Pithing Needles. Which makes you kind of want Night of Autumns. Night of Autumns block, too. Let's put Night of Autumns in our deck. We definitely have some bad cards in our deck. For instance, like Reflector Mage. It's probably not good. I do still like Veil of Summer. I need to cut three cards. What do I hate? I don't love Reflector Mage. I think Reflector Mage is worse than the Fairy. Fairy draws a card. Uh, heart's fine. Once upon a time's fine. Could cut another mana creature on the draw. Well, mana creatures are better on the draw. Could kind of just make stuff up. Clarion kind of sucks. We're going to want one Clarion. It killed like one thing. Like they like make their stuff for toughness so easily. Is Delver later? It is Big Monkey. Delver, is it Delver and Modern is going to be after this league of Cubby Cat. We're in the second game of this league, so. This hand could find a land, but even if we find a land, this hand's unplayable. We're just going to mulligan. 
Sand's much better. Keep. Um, I can't cast this, so I'm gonna bottom it. Good logic, right? And this is like a curve, right? This is a real curve. Thought sees me. Daddy. Oh, yeah. I love how the one color we aren't playing is black and they're like fixing our mana with the Zerborg. What a tilt. Oh, look at that. Look at that draw. What a fucking draw. I tell you what. Yate. Always had it. Was always on top. <laughs> that was an easy keep. No, it was not. Done with the seven. It had one land. They kill our mana creatures. We're dead. Main land drops is going to be important in this matchup. Fatal push. Lame. Let's shock. Let's just, like, pass. No, this is dumb. I should have played a heart of cure. Because if they go, if they go Soarin' here, I want to be able to animate it and attack their Soarin'. Yep, I feel like an idiot. Yep. Oh, never mind. They played a flyer. I feel like a genius. Once upon a time, find me Night of Autumn. Okay. Heart of Curing. So we can play land, play heart. Then we can play this, animate. All right, I think that's kind of smart. Let's play land. It also could serve us life. Kind of feel like a Chungus for not playing Heart last turn, but picking up the Knight does inform my like Heart of Cure in turn a little bit better. We should make a 4-3, animate, attack. Yep, you can hit me for a billion. Probably animate Mutavolt too if you're going to attack. Or don't. Don't really care. Take my 3, put a counter on your thing. It's a 4-5, it's a Chungus. Nykthos. Gross. It's even on mana right now. Thought sees. <sighs> what the heck? Why do we keep losing in double thought sees plus freaking fatal push? It's gross. Planeswalker. Hell yeah. All right, so we're gonna bounce this idiot, animate this, attack, and we're in great shape. I don't know if we're in great shape, but we're in a shape. Tough fairy. Bomb, bomb, bomb. See you, loser. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Gooser. Kill, Tef. Animate, heart. Combat. Attack, Soren. Now this just buys us like 100 turns. Which is good, because we need 100 turns. Because our hand currently doesn't do anything. Drana. Okay. Resolves. Hit me for one. We'll get 12. Probably have to block this Chungus if we don't find another answer. Aether Hub. Doesn't really do a lot. Why is this grayed out? Hub. So you can flicker this. Doesn't do anything. None of this does anything. Let's just play Chungus. Chungus. I'm likely to block because I don't want to grow their stuff. So, I think that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to block Drana. I think that buys me the most time. And it's only five minutes, so I can't combo in one turn anyway. Okay, block. Okay. I'll just, like, try to draw a Planeswalker. We're at nine. Probably have two turns, realistically. Them not playing anything is really scary. I guess we can gain life. It's actually kind of nice. Food gaining life here is not irrelevant. Go. Probably gonna sack this food on end step and gain three life. Help me not die. Don't push it. No. Lame. Probably like at least represent Valve Summer. We should play some Titan Ship. I feel like it's really good right now because of all the Urza and P.O. Mandas, which are both really great matchups. You're probably right. You're not very good against like the Izzet Delvers and like all like the Shadow decks running around, right? Card is such a bust in its standard. I mean, it's also just like not a very good card, right? 
Like the cards, the cards that beat us are the one mana broken cards in their graveyard, right? Pump this. Gain three life. All right, we're gonna take a fair bit. We're gonna take some damage. We're gonna go to five. It's gonna become a six seven. We need to draw like a walker on the double. Well, then this is a hell of a pickup. Knight of Autumn. Okay, I can work with this. Any order. Knight of Autumn. Put two counters on it. I think we can play around Grasp by just blocking, because we have to block this Chungus. Animate idiot. Five mana. No, don't carry me. Oh, no, that's lame. <sighs> Gary. Gary. Tilt. All right, we were not winning anyway. Oh, wow, we were dead. All right, fine. So our mono black matchup did not feel good. Although we did get, like, Dotsies twice and, like, pushed multiple times on a mulligan. So maybe that's just, like, indicative of not much. Have you read Bayloth or Valakut? You're not good against Shadow. Like, you have some good cards against Shadow, but you're not. You're, you're not favored against Shadow. You're just not. It's not how this works. Why, Moto? Why? I'm not asking a lot out of you. Why do you just flick over to the other side of the screen for no reason? I think if you respond, I got a question for you. All right, fire away. Fire away, Jenny. I'm here for you. Keep this hand. This hand's broco. Broco. All right, what do you want? Tell me a story. Gilded Goose or Mana Confluence? Well, I don't really need another goose, but I wouldn't mind making my land drops. Honk! Drown on the Lock is insane in the deck as well. Yeah, wait, Drown on the Lock is broken. Please explain your most underrated decks in modern right now. I feel like this format is so stale. I just need some inspiration from you. In modern? I mean, all of the tempo decks in modern are super underrated. So, like, is it Delver? Um, I mean, Storm's kind of a tempo deck. Anything you can, like, play Romant reasonably is probably a really good, really good deck in modern now. But to get, like, censored, I feel like we're going to get censored. Makes me want to just, like, play Heart and Oath. I think I'm going to do that. Although, I don't know what two mana counter spells actually exist in this format. We could just, like, play Heart Oath next turn. Kind of here for that. Do glasses help? Does it help with eye strain? Yeah, it helps. It, my eyes actually feel a lot less strain at the end of the day with the glasses. Actually, they do help. Quench. Velikut is generally very easy to beat a Shadow. I don't know if it's very easy to beat, but it's close. Etron? I don't know if Etron's underrated. I think most people, like kind of understand where the value of chalice is in this format uh, so it's like it's between like trying to play around counter spells this turn or next turn so like if it's a sensor right like if, if i think that their counter spell in hand is sensor then i should wait a turn otherwise i should play oko now because it's just gonna get hit by the same counter spell next turn and there's more three mana counter spells in this format than there are two mana counter spells i think i'm just gonna jam this is why we showed up this is why we're here we're here to jam Jam! Counter me, you forehead. All right, they had it. Ugh, they had censor. That's disgusting. It's like play around days. I hate it so much. It's so easy to play around. But it's okay. Now they're going to play like Teferi, pick up Gilded Goose or something, and we're just going to be like, derp, derp. I guess we could Wild Slash. We could just like land Wild Slash to hard. It's kind of good. We should do that. Another two minute cameras, but what are you doing? Okay. Heart. Counter this. Five head. Gets around Supreme Verdict. Oath. Sensor. No sensor. Teferi. Any order. We attack with Goose. We attack with Goose Chat. We're going we're gonna to give him the business. We're going to tell him what's up. 
Hit him. Give him the business. Is Merfolk good in modern? I think they didn't censor my oath and cycled it instead. I guess they need to hit land drops. This is what that means, right? That they're missing lands. Let's see if they have one. They do have one. Sulfur Falls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So they know about Teferi, so I'm just like not going to play it. Until they do something. There's just no reason to play, right? We can just like play land, make a food pass. There's like no reason to do anything here. I'd rather wait until like there's a turn where we want to play multiple spells or a turn where we're missing land drops. And for right now, I would like to have more mana, not less. So we're just not going to play the Teferi. Now this does let them use their four mana, whatever draw card spell, like they're, they can Glimmer Genius here or whatever, but they can't stick through time, which is relevant. Is it charm? Deal. Is this a bird deck? There's no way this is a bird deck, right? Like, why is this in their deck? They have all this soft counter magic. This is a very strange deck they're playing. Any birds? A s discarded verdict. Fair. But yeah, I think Morfolk is kind of fine. I wouldn't call it, like, great, but it's, like, fine. Clifftop Retreat. Interesting. Their mana base is odd. Make a food. Nom nom nom. Uh, think I'm just gonna play land drop. Although they can dig through time now. They can also just counter my thing and dig through time. All right. I mean, it's not really getting much better. Oh, it resolved. That's nice. Damn, they didn't do anything in response. We take those. Well, let's draw more cards. Oath. Okay. See Healy. We'll take that one. Any order. Um, green. Land Wolf. Okay, opponent. This is odd. I can't believe they let Teferi resolve. They just have, like, all soft counter magic or something? I don't understand. Maybe some kind of, like, removal spell in their main phase that they're not really worried about. This is kind of odd to me. Yeah. No Shock also is kind of weird. Maybe they might have, like, five mana Teferi. But we can animate. We can, like, play a walker or a creature and animate this Heart of Kirin. It could wrath me. Cool with that. Okay. Killing the mana creatures is something I am here for. Brazen Borrower? That's a hell of a magic card, too. Plus up Tef. Um, let's play the land. Red. Blue. Let's see Healy. Let's plus that girl on up. Let's uh, put that one on top. All right. And then we have access to Brazen Borrower. We can animate this at instant speed. I feel like we're pretty covered. Like, I don't know what I'm super scared of. I'm scared of, like, dig through times into Planeswalkers. But we have, like, Brazen Borrower to kind of help combat that. In step, I think I'm going to try to Brazen Borrower my Oath of Nyssa. Well, I guess I can just do that. I'm going to Brazen Borrower my Oath of Nyssa, pick it up, and then, like, have that creature just at the ready. I guess they can also use it to protect my walkers. Like, if they go to just, like, deal, like, two damage to Teferi, we can just, like, pick it up in response, and that'd be pretty disgusting. I'm just super excited about our Delver League. Is it, is it in the world possible if my Titan shift after? The League would have to go insanely fast. That would be so much streaming. I just do would be good content. You're excited about Titan shift, Big Monkey. PB Ascendancy. Oh, that was a good... BMC Grail, that's actually a good point. I didn't think about Syncopate. Syncopate's a card that's probably underplayed in this format, actually, right now. What is my opponent doing? I just, like, don't even understand what they're doing. It's very odd to me. Teferi just feels like it shuts down their whole strategy. Like, I don't know how they beat this card. <laughs> I was so surprised this resolved. It feels like it just ended the game. Like, what are they doing? Okay. Okay. Sahili. Oh, fuck. Does this deal damage to walkers? No, it doesn't. It's fine by me. OK, 
Okay. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I can just attack it. You have the cat. Uh, so I don't give one of them haste. I guess we could just like pick this up, but I'd like to be able to just like kill this Eheli. So let's just let this happen. Okay. Pew! Got it. All right. So they can attack one of my walkers for one. I can just like switch which one actually takes one by like animating and blocking. And we still have access to Brazen Borrower. And we're probably just going to Reflector Mage this Felidar Guardian so that like, we just like buy time. Can you just like flicker them back and forth? Okay. Wait, did you flick the token out? What are you doing? What the heck? Okay. Oko. Oh, I forgot we have Oko. We can just like Okify this. That's actually probably really good. I feel like that ends the game. All right, here's an Oko. One Broko, please. We could just animate this. We could reflect image this, animate this, and just start the beatdowns. Kind of like that. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Animate this. Um, blue, white. Oh, no, 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 no. We should, I should have elked it. Because I can elk it and then steal it next turn. And then I can combo off with my Sahili with it. Ugh, I'm such a five head. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't ultimately matter that much. Bottom this. Um, let's remove a counter from Sahili because it doesn't really matter that much how many loyalty she has and we'll beat down for seven. We have a three turn clock anyway. They can't kill us this turn because they can't cast Felidar Guardian. And they're done. They don't want to play Magic. So it didn't really matter which way. I think all roads led to Rome. And it's nice that they exposed that they're actually a cat deck. It does actually, I think, change how we want to sideboard. And explains why they didn't have as much interaction as we thought they were going to have. The only thing I like more bananas is Harry Shaggy Green Giants with Trample and Forest Bash. Fair. So it's a card that's overplayed, actually, because it's not playable. It doesn't seem that bad. Maybe I'm dumb. All right, Dispute seems like an all-star. Hey, now. Um, Veil of Summer seems potentially kind of good. Is this on the opponents? Ugh. So, like, we need to decide if we want to just, like, board out our combo. Like, I don't remember Twin Mirrors that well. Like, in Twin Mirrors, we could just, like, board in anti-combo stuff and plan to just beat them down with the anemic beats. And board out the combo stuff. <laughs> Like, what if we just went, like, out four Sahelis or whatever? Like, maybe left, like, one, right? Like, what if we just did this? And then just, like, plan to Spyglass Sahili. Is that stupid? Doesn't feel that stupid. Flector Mage feels stupid. Like, what if we boarded like this? And just, like, tried to play this, like, weird fair plan. Is that stupid? They're Supreme Verdict decks. Some mana creatures aren't very good. I guess that makes me want Sahili more. Sahili's just, like, a better card on its own than the twin cards were. So, and they like animate hearts. So, like, our deck's designed to use those cards a little better. Let's just like trim some dorks. Maybe like AC Healy or whatever, and just like do something like that. I think I like this a little better. All right, let's do this. Yeah, the, like, the old twin cards, like, Splinter Twin was just, like, a dead card if you weren't specifically comboing most of the time. Whereas, like, Sahili is, is still, like, a Planeswalker in this, like, Farish Mirror and does still crew our Heart of Kirins, So, like, I think I still want it. Oh, this hand is awkward, but I'm going to keep it. Because it has all the tools we want. And they're on a mold of five. Mm 
three. I'm going to probably Oath of Nyssa on one over holding up Mystical Dispute because I think we're going to want to hold up Mystical Dispute for their turn three when they might want to slam a walker on the play. We can just dispute the crap out of it. And hopefully Oath of Nyssa will allow us to do our second turn Oath of Nyssa and still hold up Dispute. That would be sicko, 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 sicko. Love to see it. Irrigated farmland. Deal, fam. There's no way this is playable in your deck that wants to hit all of its like, first few land drops, right? I just like really stupid for thinking that. Land, please. Breeding pool or Yavi Maya? We'll take the breeding pool. Any order. Go. Swerving. All right. Yep. Don't care about that. We drew another Oath of Nyssa. Well, we're going to hit our land drops. Uh, sure, keep this one. Land, please. Miss! Nice! I love to throw cards in the garbage can. I guess it was like a draw three, because it just scried three, three non-lands to the bottom right. That's how you should look at this. Dude, I do not care. If they want to just discard a card, that is cool by me. Maybe that's something this deck's missing. It's just like some sideboard dig through times. Is that insane? Is sideboard dig through time or even like main deck dig through time just like nonsense in this deck? Dig through time's kind of a fucked up card. I feel like one or two might just not be nonsense. Bin, D Sphere, Hollow Fountain. Like, yeah, they have three cards. They mold to five and just cast an Is It Charm to like draw two, discard two. Do they know this isn't, this doesn't replace itself? It's card disadvantage. What is happening? This is going to get disputed into the Shadow Realm. See ya. Uh-oh, what happened to your cards? And we drew a land. Now we're going to play an Oko, I think. Is Oko or Teferi better? Oko pressures walkers, so I'm actually going to play an Oko. Oko is Broko. Make a fooder. Now, like, I can just pressure any planeswalker they play. We have Dispute for next turn. We have Veil for next turn. Like, cool, bro. Thanks for sharing. Okay. You did it. They have one card left. This can't finish off walkers, right? Turn this into a thing. Pressure Sahili. Um, and all we have to do is hold up Dispute. We can actually just counter the Felidar Guardian, so there's no reason to make any moves here. Okay. The old play tap land concede. Nice. All right, we worked hard for that win. After all that build up for the first game where we just like played this pretty sweet control beer, we just broke owed them. Need more demonic packs with Felidar. Isn't that card four mana? That card is a thousand mana and in black. Got him. That was actually pretty sweet. We just like. Got to dispute them. Mystical Dispute is so good in this format. Did you see how powerful that was? Mystical Dispute is so, so, so busted. Unlike this hand, which is definitely not busted. And this hand, which is also definitely not busted. If we draw a land with this hand, our, this hand is much better. We have the combo dialed up. We just need to draw running lands. We can bottom mana creature. I won't lie, I'm not excited about it. Aetherov is so bad. But is a 5 better? A 5 probably is better. But I kind of still want to keep it anyway. Because the upside of drawing a land. We're on the draw. We're on the draw. We're on the draw. Keep. Get rid of... This is almost realistic. Done. We're on the draw, chat. We're going to draw a green land. A green on tap land on turn 1. This hand is so greedy. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just making decisions at random. She's just mulliganed. Oh, no. Thoughtseize. Oh, thank God. Wait, no. We're just getting pushed. Fuck. Unk, go. Yup. Oh no. Grixis nonsense. Oh no. The old one Aether Hub hand got me again. Okay. 
The boat says game will end quickly. This is a lesson in why you mulligan bad hands. Shock. Blow that up. Watch enough Collagon's command. That'd be gross. Collagon's command, kill your elf, make you discard. Wait, what? What just happened? What were the modes on that? Oh, they shattered the food? Dude, I don't care. Alright, dog. They have five mana. Just like Grix is controlling some people. Play something that does something. Ugh. Uh, wild slash. Land for Broco. Jesus. Okay. Um. Blue. Green. Here's Noko. Nice Aether Hubs, idiot. Do you have a dispute? Alright, we're done. We both played hard. <laughs> Spell beers. You got it, fam. I get it. I get what's going on here. This card is busted. Why, why do we play three of these? We need to be playing three of these. It's such a mistake not playing three of these. Uh, I think everything else kind of sucks. We have a pile of Planeswalkers. Reflector Mage doesn't seem good. Borrower is probably really bad. Anything that bounces their stupid Nickel Bolas is probably just not going to be very good. Uh, but all the two for ones are probably pretty good. And things that dodge removal spells. I bet Wild Slash is not very good either. All right, let's cut Wild Slash. Let's keep the Borrower. All right, there you go. Run it. Run it. Let's try again. We're going to keep all the mana creatures in just because, like, they're keeping Fatal Pushes in. What a gangster blowing up the food. It's a power move, really. Not going to lie, I'd keep it. Well, you shouldn't. You just keep it and die. It's a keep die. And you hate to see the keep dies. Opponent is in the tank on how to sideboard. Vryn? Oh, yeah. People play Jace Vryn's Prodigy. I mean, honestly, this deck is probably a Jace Vryn's Prodigy deck. I would imagine this deck's a Jace Vryn's Prodigy deck. That feels like that makes a lot of sense to me. What would you like to play first? Nothing will make me happier. This hand is great. All right. Let's play our Gooser. We're probably going to get, like, Thoughtseize. It's fine. We have two Planeswalkers to play on turn two, so we take those. Thought sees me. Thought sees me. Thought sees me. Thought sees me. Oh, they should push. Or spell Pierce? Gross. There's no way they have that many Spell Pierces in their deck, right? Like, come on. They probably do. So do we wait a turn? There's no way we wait a turn. This is why we show up. No, I don't want to make a food. Teth. Perth. Okay. Nope. I think Oko's a little more powerful, so I left Oko in. Thought Thief, yo. Oof. This is a lesson on also why one man interaction is important. Look how powerful this one man interaction is. Man, interaction is very good. Fortunately, I'm kind of sad this format, like, is a format, another format where Thoughtseize is just one of the best things to be doing. Thoughtseize is really unfun. I hate the card so much. Uh, what the fudge? Alright. Heart. Heart's a good pickup, although it does get Collagons commanded, so maybe we should have boarded it out. It's not very good. We didn't really have enough cards to this matchup. I think we want more Veil of Summers anyway. Oof. Could 
Could have shocked us in Oath, and I wouldn't have to use my energy to dispute if they wanted to counter this, but, I mean, they know about dispute. Like, they're going to run their dispute into this. And I'm in. Um, I'm going to take the Rogue Refiner, but it feels like a mistake to play it this turn, so I'm not going to. There's just no rush. Do you have another Thoughtseize? Are you serious? Jeez. See, it feels like every time we've lost these games, it's been to like these piles of just like Thoughtseizes and pushes. Which is like obviously kind of unfortunate, but like how common is this? Don't you know? Blue, green, another. Here's this clown. Clown draws a card, draws to fairy. Yep, done. I'm deciding on whether or not I want to play this goose. It exposes me to Collagon's command pretty hard, so I don't think I'm going to. But it does get me blown out by Is It Charm or Spell Pierce, both of which we know they play. The thing is, if Tap re resolves, we get to kill the Jays, which is nice. Unless they're just going to Thought Seize me, which would be rough. Oh, they're going to push. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay. So, let's me draw a live to Dispute. I'm going to shock this into player on Is It Charm and Spell Pierce. White. Tap. Slimgar Scarn revealing Nickel Bolas. Okay. Gooser. Yeah, I think we're probably dead. They don't have red mana, but I don't think that super matters. I feel we're really dead. We have to have a series of insane draw steps, and they don't need much. There's a Jace Friend. Yeah, like I said, this deck's like very easily a Jace Friend's Project deck. I don't think Slimgar Scorn's a playable card in this format. We just got got by one, but it seemed very good. Let's get the dragons in this format. All right, we're probably dead to that because this card's busted. And this is my concern with the Felidar like cat deck that doesn't play Dig Through Times. Is I feel like we just get outclassed by these kinds of interactive decks that do play Dig Through Times. Like we're doing so much incremental card advantage, and Dig Through Time is just this like ham fisted, just like I am card advantage. And like charge Cruise is the same way. Like how do you how do you how are you keeping up with these delve spells? Which the answer is you're just like not. Wolf. Opponent's got options. Fog my gooser. Rogue Refiner's a nice pickup. I guess we have enough energy that we can just like afford to spew and play this. Play this. Draw a card. To fairy. Oh no, stop. Why does the top option make a food? Blue, sack the food. Or white. Another. This is so that we can potentially kill the Jace. Oh. What the fuck? How did this happen? Okay. Uh, so they could have removal spells, but if they draw a red source, then we... Picking up the Oath of Nissa doesn't do anything, so I'm actually going to plus the fair, even though they might have like Murder Rider and stuff like that. Um, done. Attack Jace. Maybe we should have attacked them. We have lethal, but I just don't think that... I, I think their hand has got to have stuff in it that like matters and is going to interact profitably with our board. What? You just cast a dick through time. How did we win this game? I am flabbergasted right now. How on earth did we win that game?
Whoa. Okay. Maybe Sorcerer's Spyglass is the best answer to what they have going on. Could actually just rest in peace. Shuts off, like, Colagon's commands and Jace's, kind of. That kind of sucks. It sets off Dig Through Times, too. All right, let's rip. Let's rip them. Let's just rip them. Well, they could have removal spells, like, on their main phase, right? Like, just on their turn, they just, like, shoot our stuff, and then, like, I feel stupid for leaving their Jason play. I am beside myself we won that game. I, I can't tell what we actually want. Like, is Wild Slashing their Jace a good plan? Doesn't seem like it. Mana Creature's just kind of getting answered is, like, kind of unfortunate. So, like, I kind of want to trim one. I'm going to trim one. Maybe two? Let's trim two. We're on the, we're on the draw, right? So, like, we're just going to, like, play our value plan. Let's try this. Let's try this. See what happens. See what happens. I, I can't believe we won that game. We should play Eldritch Evolution to go get what? <laughs> we have all three drops. See, it's a lot of mana. On the draw, I think I want to keep this. Like, we have a payoff. They're probably going to thought seize it. We have multiple mana creatures. We have multiple things to do for one mana. Like, I just, yeah, I want to I put my mana creature. We're going to run this into Fatal Push, and that's fine. Still got some value. I have mad respect for responding to the food trigger. They got Jace. Yep. They got Jace on two. It's fine by me. Uh, let's play Oath of Nessa. Let's grab a Oko. I'm in love with the Oko. Let's play a Gooser. And pass the turn. So now we have like two, three drops we want to play. Like we're not doing bad. Thought sees me. We have two, three drops. They're going to take the Oko because that's what they're scared of. There's no like Thought Scour, so they can't flip their Jace this turn. They only have four cards left too. I get the feeling Rogue Refiner is really good against them. Just because I bet they didn't leave a bunch of removal in. But yeah, they definitely need land drops. Because like, otherwise this card's going to be like, really good, right? Alright. One man up. Representing Spell Pierce. I don't get it. We can't play both Heart and Rogue Refiner. I feel incentivized to just play Refiner. Okay. Because, like, I want to be able to double spell and Heart of Cure is going to let us double spell, like, most likely. They might just have also, like, a flood of Nickel Boluses. Which would be kind of weird. Another Rogue Refiner. Nice. Well, we have plenty of lands to sacrifice. Alright. So they play land, Nickel Bolus. Thoughtsy's gross. I guess it's also a good reason to play Rogue Refiner first, just in case they have another Thoughtsies. This is going to be their fifth card and flip the Hase. We're still not in that bad of shape. We're fairly at parity. Because, like, their Thoughtsies don't really do anything. They can Fatal Push my Rogue Refiner by minusing. Or they could just Fog my Rogue Refiner. That works, too. And they don't have Dig Through Time up. Woof. Woof. Uh, combat. Yes, it makes the most sense to go with Jace. And play another Gooser. And then we're going to make another food. We're just going to have a bunch of food. We're going to have a pile of fucking food. Nom, 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 nom. Is this going to be the Isidelver Deck that won the Classic? It is, Shiny Psyduck. It is going to be the very same. Russell's actually in the chat, if you want to say anything to him. Goblin Rabble Master, how is this in your deck? Block. Why is why are you a Goblin Rabble Master deck? Before damage was like food. Yep. Alright. Aether Hub. Uh-oh. 
Beginning to feel dead. All right, well, there you go. They are missing land drops, though, so I correctly predicted that, but I don't think it's going to matter. KRS Matic, thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Chris Matic? I am here, friend. Hello, friend. Yep, looks good to me. All this math checks out. Here comes the Chungus. All right, let's block, block, take four. And they can now push my rogue refiner. Yep. Oh yeah, only all this food we're about to make. We're about to make so much food. I might actually be supposed to crack a food instead of making one here, because I don't think we're ever going to need six foods. But, hey, we have six foods. That was a hell of a good draw step. It's probably just going to get countered. It's going to get Slimgar scorned. I'm going to cry. It's going to be a bad time. But, on the plus side, we have one. Okay. Plus, make their food into a thing that matters. Do we attack the Hase? I don't think we do, because then they can use removal spells to pressure Oko. Well, they could do that anyway with Jace. All right, let's just attack. Attack Jace. And you can do whatever you want to it. All right, and then next turn, we can trade for a Rabble Master, which is kind of sweet. Give him a food, take the Rabble Master. Be kind of good. And if not, we can just make three threes. That might honestly just be better. Dreadbore, lame. Fog my food. Play a land untapped. Take four, block, block. Block, block, okay. Uh, let's crack a food. Swing three. Oh, the Mesa. We take those. Find me a walker. Hey, you know what kills Delver? Brennan six, that's true. You are very correct. Oh, I don't know, keep this one. Planeswalkers. Rogue Refiner. All right, we'll take that. Any order. Um, Rogue Refiner. They probably have a dig through time. It's probably what they're sitting on. Veil of Summer is pretty nice. Uh, let's play this tapped. Uh, sure, we'll attack. Chase. Put him to four, which puts him to one. The fog. We can still block and check the Goblin Rebel Master, and we have Veil of Summer to Veil and your removal spell and Rogue Refiner. Take your time. Execute all of it. Fine by me. Yup. Leaving Bush in the yard. Rogue Refiner's nuts. I don't know if it's nuts. It's fine. Jura card here. Veil of Summer's nuts. I'm excited about this Veil of Summer. I feel like it's going to have a lot of text. So, I want it to have text. Let's do that. Boon it. What you doing? Opponent. This Rogue Master has been irritating. I did not think there would be a Rogue Master deck. Definitely should have left Wild Slash in if I knew that was the thing. Okay. I'm going to push target the food. Sure, we'll veil that. I'll veil anything.
negate, puke. All right. Interesting. And they have a second fatal push. This signals me they have a second fatal push. Teferi. Ooh, that's a nice one. Green, white, Tef. The Tef father. Nothing? Nice. All right, so we can pick up Rabble Master. And that just sucks, right? Go play your sweet Phoenix gets my six feet Phoenixes again. Oh yeah, Pioneer is a Phoenix is on my radar. I need to like put some time into it, but this is a sub list that somebody had me play. So I need to decide if I want to pick up Othanissa, start drawing some more cards, or if I want to pick up their Goblin Rebel Master and just kill their Jace. I think I'm gonna pick up the Othanissa. Oath. Okay, Walker, please. <laughs> it's a hell of a good one. That's not a bad one. Even Felidar Guardian's a good one. Actually, yeah, let's take Feldar Guardian. Is Feldar Guardian better than Oko? I'm struggling with that right now. So we can, if we Feldar Guardian, we Guardian the Teferi, pick that up, kill Jace, easy clap. If we Oko, we Oko make a food, attack both at Jace, they have their choice of blocks. Oko's way better, what am I thinking? Uh... How does this work? Ah, right, yeah, that's, that's how I thought this worked. Plus, make this a food. It's kind of unbelievable we're in this game. Attack all creatures at Hase, except these two. Yep, I'll take that block. Okay, well, Hase, they have three cards to my one. My one card doesn't super matter. Let's cast it anyway. So there's a chance we lose we lose Tef, but just keeping Oko around is more than enough. Yeah, Elk always wins. Another Dreadborn? Sure. Deck death. Reasonable. Blocks. Rest in peace. Uh, yeah, we'll attack. Plus. Rip. Let's see. Let's see if this rip actually does anything. I'm interested to see if this card matters. It's interesting how we've had to use, like, a lot of this food, too. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I do not have any cards. Cool by me, dog. Um, create a food. Create a food. Like, we've actually, like, been using these foods. It's pretty interesting. Um, so we can block, let's plus, play our land, and ship. Once again, they have three cards for none. We've drawn a lot of lands, but where the fact we're still in this game is pretty sweet. We have two blockers for the bolus, so we don't lose Tef. Block. Okay, before damage, let's make a food. Five foods, so many foods. We make foods every turn. Four cards, kind of have to decide what to do now. Pithing needle, ew. Well, let's make a food, kiss the name goose. I don't think they will, but they could. Rip looking pretty bad right about now.
How much does this thing is cost to activate? Like seven? Seven mana? Sure. Main Tef. Play Goblin Rattle, last or second main. Draw another Tef. Gross. Okay. Let's leave the Teferi in hand in case, I don't know, in case we need to resolve a spell next turn, we can use it as like anti-counter magic because it does have a, uh, a static that matters. So like they may still attack this Teferi just because the static matters. What are your attacks? All of this at death, huh? Trade off of one of these. Lose the Tef. Probably means they have a counter mat, a counter spell in hand, just fine. What is this? Another one. Gross. Okay. Food. I'm going to eat like one or two foods just to pad my life total in case I need to use my mana one turn. All right. Hub. Jesus. All right. I think we're probably done. I think that kind of seals it, to be honest with you. Like, we could take a bunch of hits because we have made a bunch of foods, but... I just don't think we can keep up with this block. This signals to me they probably have Collagon's command, but I know they wouldn't. They would just Collagon's command that token. I mean the uh, food token, right? I don't know what they. I don't know why they attack for Elven Master actually. Eat a food. I don't think I need a second food just yet. Sahili. What does Sahili do? I don't think making a second, like playing Sahili matters. How's the deck? How has the deck been, Anarchist Steve? It's been fine. It's actually won from like some surprisingly behind positions. Like we've drawn a bunch of lands this game, and they obviously haven't. And like I think we're still in this. So the deck's been surprisingly powerful. I'm pretty happy with it. I just don't. I don't know if playing no dick through time is correct. Like, I get it. You want to play, like, Rest in Peace and stuff like that. But, like, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem correct. So, like, we have this plan of, like, are we wanting to be good against boluses and discard? Or do we want to be good against, like, potentially counter spells? I think there's no way we play this. So, I'm just going to pass. Kind of feels dumb. They've been through two Thoughtseize, three Nickel Bolus Ravagers. So, like, whatever, man. If you have another discard spell, you got me. Although that is one of the only modes in their Collagons command right now. So, like, command, kill this, make me discard is, like, a pretty attractive thing to do. Uh-oh. That's probably bad for me. Yup. That does not look good for me. What do you have for five mana? Glory bringer of Vomit. So we gotta draw Felidar Guardian. But if we draw Felidar Guardian, they're dead. Exert. My goose! What have you done to my boy? All right, yep, it's dead. Let's sacrifice some food. Try to survive as long as possible. F6. I think I get two steps at a Felidar Guardian. <laughs> Taste it! Oh, God, we're so good at this game. It's incredible. It's just incredible. Oh, yeah. You don't hate to see it, Chad. Yeah, let's play this. Uh, plus up. Deal one to you. Scry one. Ooh, we'll put that one on top. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> that one! I want to do that one. What do you think? You, you fan? Great. Me too. Never didn't have it, chat. Never didn't fucking have it. All right, we're three and one. Look at this anarchist ape. Eh? This deck is broken. This deck is broken. This deck is broken. I mean, since the release of Eldraine, my eating habits have definitely increased. Good point, Big Bucky. Fucking poggers. 
least he was at six. Dalek twenty three. Facts. Yeah, this is Mental Missteps fifth fifth place list. There is a lot of nonsense going on here. The sideboard is utter nonsense, which makes sense. It's like a week one of a format, right? So like, it's not going to be figured out. But their sideboard is utter utter nonsense. But the one-man interaction is good. As we've seen through every single game we've played, this format is about one-man interaction. The, the one-man interactive spells are what define a lot of this format. Ooh, woo, it's Dylan Hand. Have to talk the appropriate amount of trash. This hand's great. Snap cute. Beat this poppy. What? Ah! <laughs> Whatever. We'll we'll, uh, we'll bounce their uh, bounce their thing. It's fine. Everything's fine. Goosers. Go. They're gonna play it. He's gonna play a mana dork on one. We're just gonna bounce it. It's gonna be great. Oh, he doesn't even have a mana dork. Oh, we're gonna bounce the ley line. Holy shit! No, we don't have white. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. Crisis averted. Make white. Sack that. Blue. Boop. Boop. Whoop! <laughs> Got him! Tell Dylan he shouldn't play this. I'll let him know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We just bounced his ley line. Turned to Shrine. He's probably got like a carotid or something. Once upon a time. Deal. Deal. Botanical Sanctum, Sylvan Carrot Dad. You got it. Wild Slash. That does not kill a Sylvan Carrot Dad. Plus, let's well, Oath of Nyssa. Look for a Sahili. Burger Finder's fine too. Any order. Um, I think we're just going to play a Gooser. Yeah, we're just going to play our Gooser. We have Wild Slash in case we need to use it, but there's just no way to actually use it, so we're just gonna just gonna shift the turn on back. We can attack you, coward. Got a block. Oh man, this this match is pretty sweet. Another carrot. All right, sounds good. Another carrot. All right, six mana scary. This this smells like Nissa to me, um, which is really unfortunate. Oath of Nissa is nice. Oh, blood wound. So we can like Rogue Refiner, and we have something in play that we can flash, or we can just like Felidar Guardian, because I don't think they're gonna have a lot of removal. Felidar Guardian does block. We have Oath of Nyssa, but we don't have the mana to actually do anything. I think I'm going to cast Oath of Nyssa. And then, based on what we draw, I want a Rogue Refiner. Guardian, Borrower, Elf. I'm going to take Elf. Any order. I still want to hit a land drop, so let's plus this up. This is a little this is a little aggressive, but I really want to hit my land drops. God damn. I did not hit my land drops. That's unfortunate. Right, we started so good. Now we're gonna get nissed and die. Yup. Mana creature is fine. Adds four mana now to Nykthos. Play Ley Line, add six mana, plays Nyssa. Doesn't really do anything yet. There's the Nyssa. I will block. I'm very serious, that will snap block. Don't, don't make me block. Block. All right. So. We can pick the ley line up again, shoot this mana creature, and then he still just has a billion mana. That doesn't feel very good. 
I still want to hit land drops, though. Pick this up. Hitting land drops, please. Ding. All right, so this gives me access to red mana. I can fell our guardian flicker oath. That's probably just the best play, right? Because like I said, I don't think he has any removal, so let's just like do the thing and just try to find my Sahili's. Yes. Nice. Inspiring Vantage or Aether Hub. I guess we'll take another hub. We have a lot of energy. Go. Oh. So you can pretty easily replay the ley line, but it just like kind of ties up some of his mana. She need to hope he doesn't have a crisis for a thousand or whatever. Play ley line. Crisis for a thousand. Or you could untap Nykthos and crisis for a thousand. Okay, this makes you think he doesn't have crisis. Speaking of sweet, have you seen the Vintage Crab Shack deck? I have not. I do not keep up with Vintage very well. He does have the crisis. That's gross. Okay. Well, we're in trouble. Not that much trouble, because obviously we're drawing to see Healy to just, like, win. But, because like I said, I don't think this deck interacts very much. Doing more stuff. Probably can, like, Oko. Oh, I see you're going to Oko. That's fine. One at a time, grab Palukranos. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds like an elk, Paluka elk. If we miss on Sealy, that is. So we have access to five mana. We can elk this, play some creatures, move on with our life. So let's let's do that. Blue, let's Oko, Elk, this, um, green, Lanor Elves, make a red shoot. We can just like shoot one of their creatures. How much mana do they have? He just has a lot of mana. A lot of mana. All right, let's do this. We'll do this, hope to live. Fun by me. We can only attack with one, two, three, four creatures anyway, so they can pop like three times. We can chump, chump. We have two free chumps. I think we have. I think we have like multiple looks at this because we have six mana now, so we can fell out our guardian flicker and then like still have plenty of looks. We just need to like not die, which is looking to, like it's going to be kind of a problem. Not untapping Nykthos is good for us. What is this? Lay line, make four fours. It's fine. Oath, cool by me. You can pump what one more time? Oko. Oh no go. It's probably incentivized to Oko the Felidar Guardian. I think we still have I think we still have four looks at those. Is that the Dylan Hand? It is the Dylan Hand. The one and only. Elk the Guardian. Now it's pretty free to block the Guardian as well. Or don't elk the Guardian. He's thinking about it. It doesn't matter if you kill one of our mana creatures because we still have seven mana. So it's this Guardian Flicker finds a Healy kill. Block, block. What did he do? He just made another attacker. Okay. Okay, and. So 
So we can take, so we are blocking this, all of the things that have fives on them. I guess this is kind of a free block. Huh. We need to make that decision later. So right now we're taking way too much. We need to block two more things. We can block here and here. And this gives me access to exactly enough mana. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We take a bunch. We have goose back behind. 10, 13, 18. God, if we were three more life. Rude AF, no kidding. <clears throat> die, Drake, die. Uh, no. Um, we could put this in front of this and one of these in front of this then we're taking 15 go to three <clears throat> and then we still have seven mana which is not enough five fifteen but i don't think we have enough mana anyway for yeah we're like a mana short if we flicker the oath of Nissa and don't draw land so i think i'm supposed to keep the guardian in play I think I'm going to do this. I think he has another activation here, right? Beast tap for six. So I just need him to screw it up. He's not going to, but this is the only way we win, I think. No, this is still not lethal, right? We just take 15, 16, 17. So if he activates one more time, we're not dead. They should do it anyway, because that way he kills the Guardian. Okay, that's weird. Sahili, dicks. Uh, yes. Alright, we would have missed anyway. Gross! So many looks, so many looks, no Sahilis. Yeah, I guess that's that's all we can do. I guess we want to be able to kill their mana darks, so because they're the they're the better mana dark deck than we are. So let's bring in all the mana creatures. Sorcerer Spyglass for Nissa seems really important. Knight of Autumn could be good. I don't think on average it's going to be good. I want a sideboard pretty light. I still like Teferi. I still like Reflector Mage. I don't like Brazen Bar. Excuse me. Um, I want to trim a mana creature or two because we're bringing the Clarions. I guess we should just do something like that. Just like really light. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Like a lot of these cards we just haven't brought in. So I, I wonder if they like should be on our sideboard at all based on like what people are playing. It's hard to tell. I wonder what they're getting out of green. He's probably getting like disdainful strokes or something. Some way to interact with the combo. Disputes might be good. Since he's like a blue green devotion style deck. Alright, Dylan Hand. What do we think? This hand's actually pretty good. On the play, I might just keep this because we have an answer for their turn one mana dark. We have something to hit our land drops. We have Teferi. I think I'm actually gonna keep this. This hand's a little weaker on average than a probably like if we just mulliganed but i think this has enough going for it that it's fine villain mold the six hmm. it's unfortunate we have to use our energy here too but we have oath and to help us cast the walkers so it just doesn't really matter let's shock and yeah, we're gonna oath now 
Rogue Refiner, Teferi. We already have... This is the set of Teferis in the top seven cards of our library. Or top ten cards of our library, rather. The set of... The playset of Teferis. Well, I don't think Teferi's that good, so let's just take a Rogue Refiner. All right, go. We still have two steps to find a, a, a land. Make our walkers work. Me on a creature. Get bolted. Oh, nice. If we find Inspiring Vantage, it rewards me for playing the Oath first, so I'm going to do that. Jeez. We found no lands among the top six cards. Red. Shoot that. All right, well, now we need to draw a third land. Hopefully we do. Pass. Third land, please. Go. Maybe we should have more lands. Gross. I mean, we looked at the top six cards of our library, or, like, we've had eight looks at it and haven't drawn one. It's, like, pretty rough. All right, well, better late than never, I suppose. Um, let's oh, go. Food. Go. This, is, this way we can create some creatures that pressure Nyssa. Pelucranos, that's getting T-Ferried. Good Reflector Mage it. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have the, we don't have the mana requirements for that. See ya. Animate this food. Attack. The Nisses. Yup. Then we're gonna Reflector Mage. Attack. Protect a Fairy. Good thing we have another one. Oh no, we can Goose trade it. Oh, that's actually kind of gross. Goose. Minus five. Uh, combat. Attack Nissa, attack Nissa. And then second main we can play the Teferi. That's pretty good. Actually, we're going to Rogue Refiner. There we go. And we drew land. We're so lucky. Pog champ. Okay, that was kind of gross. That was kind of gross. We took his land. <laughs> Let's talk some shit in the chat. <laughs> Turns out taking your opponent's land, pretty powerful. Oko, still messed up. More at 11. I can't believe we missed our, like, third land drop, like, a bunch of times. It's still just, like, took his land, killed his Nissa. Just disgusting. All disgusting. No. No! This hand's so close. Goodbye. This hand is pretty mopey. But I'll draw him one to keep it, I think. Um, Root of Mana Confluence. We'll draw a bunch of lands, I think. Got a ley line? Did he just mulligan? Oh, he multiplied five? Yeah, he multiplied five. Nice! You love to see the balls to five. Got a land of elves, deal. Looking for a walker. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Green. I think we're supposed to play Elvish Mystic. Because it's the thing that lets us use our mana most efficiently because we have three one-drops we want to play on turn two. Like, he's going to play a mana dark. We're going to shoot it, play Goose, play Oath. Oh, gross. Um, well, let's lead off with an Oath. Because Once Upon a Time finds a land, I think I just want to take the Felidar Guardian, prepare to combo. Um, let's play this. Let's make a red and wild slash this. And let's play a gooser and let's ship. 
<sighs> then we can, of course, Felidar this turn if we want. Okay, that lets us do everything, right? Or, no, let's just Felidar. Felidar, this exposes us a little bit to Oko. But if we find our own Oko, then we're in good shape. All right, well, we'll grab a Saheeli. I mean, there's no reason not to. We have, once upon a time, to find another another Guardian after it gets Oko'd. Oh. He's done. He's just dead. Oh, no. Well, we got him. All right, a nice 4-1. Very, very reasonable for one. Our loss was to... Jeez, what was Smorin on? I don't even remember what we lost to. I remember it being kind of close. What did we play against? We played against, like, uh, this Just Guy Sahili deck. We played against Dylan on the Devotion deck. We played against the Grixis Control deck. We played against... Uh... Grixis Control, Jessica Sahili, Dylan's Devotion deck. I don't even remember the other decks we played against. It's been it's been so long. This league took forever. This league took like two and a half hours. Chad, help! What were what were the matchups? I can't go back and look. Um, Somebody was playing. I just got here. No worries. No worries. Whatever. I want to talk about all the matchups, but I don't even remember them all. What I do remember is that... Oh, I played against Vampires. That was our loss. The Mono Black Vampires deck. Just like Thoughtseize pushed us. Backed up by like good clock. That was that was a pretty good deck. That was a pretty impressive deck. Um, We also played against a, a land-based deck. A Field of the Dead deck. There you go. That's all the matchups. So it was like Grixis Controls, Jessica Sahili... Like that blue green devotion deck, this like uh, field of the dead deck, and which probably has scapeshift in it, I imagine, and uh, the model black vampires deck. So there you go. I don't care. Titan Jim Delver, rah 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 rah. Fair big big monkey. We gotta finish up talking about pioneer because pioneer is really sweet. So this uh, this is honestly pretty impressive for a week one deck. I like the amount of mana creatures we have. Oh, the Nissa was impressive. The Wild Slashes were good. The Heart Acurans were good. The Brazen Borrower was a little cute. So I think this could probably be something else. Once Upon a Time honestly looked kind of bad in our deck. Like, with all of these things we want to be doing with our mana, I don't really like Once Upon a Time. Either I want to cut more mana creatures for more Once Upon a Time, so we can just, like, Once Upon a Time for them. Or I want to cut our Once Upon a Time from the deck altogether. And it's probably correct to have Once Upon a Time over not. So what I imagine the answer actually is, is cutting like three dorks and going down to seven dorks and playing four once upon a time. So you could just once upon a time for the mana creature. Um, and then having access to Othanissa and the wild slashes and all that stuff is probably still reasonable. So that's kind of what I want to do if I were to try this deck again. I also feel like the reflector mages were kind of nonsense. They weren't great. And I want something else that fits on, like, two mana on our curve a little bit better. So maybe, like, more removal spells. Like, I might play, like, Seal Away or, like, you know, Lava Coil or just something. I kind of want real removal spells in the two mana spot. Um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't really know exactly what I want. Also, the Once Upon a Times would help us hit our land drops a little bit more. So I think this would help with our land count. So, like... I think I want these to be like two mana removal spells. I want Brazen Borrower to be basically anything else. Another four drop, like a four drop Planeswalker that's just like a little more powerful wouldn't hurt. So like uh, Gideon Ally Zendikar potentially or something like that. Like an Anthem on Gideon Ally could be cool. I don't know. Like I would want, I would want Brazen Borrower to be something else. I want Reflector Mages to be real removal spells, I think, because we have like Teferi's as it is. We have Teferi's Okos as like fine removal spells. I'd rather just like have some kind of other, other removal spell. If there's like a Planeswalker removal spell, that'd be pretty nice. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever pressures walkers on to. Maybe just more hard cures. These pressure walkers. So, like, maybe one of these becomes a hard cure. I don't really know. These are the cards I think were nonsense. 
in the main deck. The mana base kind of sucked, but I'm not really ready to tinker with it too much. Oath of Nyssa did kind of bail me out in a lot of spots. The Aether Helves were kind of hard to turn on and keep going, but I don't know. It was kind of fine. And the Rogue Refiners were impressive. So those are the main deck changes I'd make. The sideboard was just kind of nonsense. I think this card, we don't want more than one if we want, if even if we want the one. This card looks kind of embarrassing. I don't know if we want two of those. I want more copies of these. I want a third Mystical Dispute. I want a third Veil of Summer. It seems good against everything people are doing. And uh, I wouldn't mind like a Red Moon effect of some kind, like a uh, Blood Sun or something like that. Just like the hedge against the Field of the Dead deck. I think it works against Field of the Dead deck. But um, just kind of something that helps with the Field of the Dead deck. Recipes is probably still fine. There are still graveyard decks, even if we didn't run into them. But I don't even know if this card's good at all. Like, I feel like our mono red matchup's gotta be at least okay. Maybe not. The walkers are kind of bad. I don't know. Surge, Surge of Righteous just is kind of an embarrassing card. So I don't I don't know if this is what we want for our mono red matchup. But um, whatever our mono red card is, I think it's gonna pair with these clear like these clerics and these knights. And I just think this could be something else that's like a little more efficient. So. I don't know. That'll do it for Pioneer. Any final questions, problems, or concerns? Four mana Chandra. Like Chandra Torture Defiance? Seems kind of hard to cast, but it might be okay. Mav 807, thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, okay. With Osa Nissa, Chandra Torture Defiance might not be nonsense. It also does let us make six mana for the Felidar Guardian Sahili combo in the same turn, which is kind of nice. That's something I always wanted to do. And it's still Flame Tongue Kabus. Hey, how's it going, Cream Sickle? Big fan of YouTube content. Thrilled to finally be able to catch you live stream. Hey, thanks, Cream Sickle. That means a lot. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What would you say? Did Heart of Kieran do anything relevant? Yeah, actually, Charismatic, it did. In one of our matches, it, like, in the, okay, okay, against the Grixis match, it allowed us to pressure Jace on, like, uh, on our, on our terms, which was really nice, um, because they're, like, a push deck, and they couldn't, like, flashback push with Jace, for instance, on the, the Heart of Kieran at instant speed, obviously, and then... It also let us just kind of go to this beatdown plan, like when we weren't actually killing our opponent at a reasonable pace. Like we just had this like plan B beatdown plan that allowed us to just like kind of kill them. And all we had is like a heart of Kieran and like a mopey like mana creature or whatever. We were just like, ah, attack, like red zone. So the heart of Kieran's were more impressive than I thought. And they're really good at defending these walkers because we're kind of bad at defending the walkers because all of our blockers are like mana creatures, which is part of where Reflection Mage comes in. But some like two mana removal spells is also probably just like fine. <sighs> All right, but there's a lot. There's a lot to explore in this format. I can't say anything like confidentially. Like, confidentially. Confidently. Good lord, words are very hard. Uh, I can't say anything for sure, anything confidently. But I can say that like this deck felt powerful, and it felt about like I expected it to. There were some games where we were like hopelessly behind, and I was like, well, if we draw the combo, they just die, and then we just draw the combo, they just die. Like we literally saw that happen on stream. And this is where a lot of this deck gets its inherent power. Like, we're a deck that is able to power out to Fairies, Okos, and, like, Sahili if it's, like, good enough. But Sahili's, like, fine. On turn two, we're powering out Planeswalkers on turn two. And then, like, we have this Oops, I Win button even late into the game when you think we're dead. Like, against that uh, against that Grixis person, I thought we were, like, just completely dead. And we are just like, well, I got this Sahili hanging around if we draw the fell at our Guardian. Oh, wow. They're dead. Nice. We both played hard. And, yeah, it's just, like, it gives you such a leg up in proactivity in so many matchups that the deck is really powerful. Liked it a lot. Um, I recommend you give it a try. Binary is kind of sweet. Okay, so crazy idea, but can we make the mana work for Wishclaw Talisman? Wow, go five color? I mean, you could pick it up with Teferi and you can Oko it so you can, like, tutor up any of these clowns and pick it back up. But your mana gets so awful. I don't think so. I don't think you can do that and play the mana creatures. I think you might could go like just like four color no green and play like a control route and that we can like use Wishclaw Talisman to like tutor for a sweeper or something like that and then like pick it up or whatever. So we could just like cut green from the deck and like play like a control deck that just has Wishclaw Talisman to like finish off the combo late in the game. That could be kind of sweet. But I don't think we can support it in this kind of deck. We have like plenty of cantrips and stuff to find it as it is to find the combo pieces. So, not really, but I think a different deck could work with that. Either way, that'll do it for this league. We're going to play some Modern here next. We're going to play some Is It Delver, the classic winning list from uh, I'm Not Russell. Um, so, we're going to do that right after I talk about my lovely sponsors. So, if you uh, have been watching this stream, you've appreciated the content, please hit that follow button here on Twitch. It's the easiest way to support me on Twitch, and we'll let you know when I go live. If you're watching from the YouTube channel and you have liked what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button. It's the easiest way to support me on YouTube, and we'll let you know when I post more videos. 
Other ways you can support me, Team Nova, and the stream is to support my sponsors, which you can see strewn about across the screen. At the top center, you can see the Mage logo and the introspective logo. Mage is a software development, I guess. It's a software startup for Magic the Gathering. They produce a mobile app that is free to download and is the best Magic app on the market, bar none. I've used a lot of Magic apps in my days. been playing Magic for a long time, and uh, it is by far the best one I've ever used. I really, really like their system. And even more exciting, they have a StockX like, market for Magic coming out real soon. I finally got around to doing the beta for that, and it looks awesome. So I can't wait for that to actually hit their hit full release, which I think is coming here pretty soon in 2020. Super, super exciting, and their work is awesome. So check out their app, free on the App Store. Also check out Introspective, which is a clothing, com clothing company that sponsors Team Nova as well as some of the other teams in the SEG Tour. They produce our jerseys and some of the clothing apparel I've worn on stream in the past. Their stuff is really high quality and really sweet, and you can use code Team Nova MTG to save 15% on that. So you can get some good-looking clothes and save a little bit of money while you're at it. Other sponsors you can see scrolling beneath my face. Start off with, we have the lovely Inkling Customs, who did our sub badges and is going to be doing the rest of our emotes. She also did my token, the Team Nova logo, and our Team Nova playmat, so we've worked very closely with her, and her work is excellent. Her prices are all reasonable, and you can check out her website in the links below. Panels if you're on Twitch, and description if you're on YouTube. Um, like I said, her prices are super reasonable, so, you know, I highly recommend you pick up some of these lovely Drake tokens, as well as some of the other members of Team Nova. Super awesome. Also, we have Manatures.com, which is the riddle service I'm using to play these lovely, expensive, insanely overpriced Pioneer decks for you without having to shell out the money for all the cards. So if you want, if you too wish to play overpriced Pioneer decks, you can sign up for Team Nova today using code TEAMNOVAMTG. The links are not currently updated, but it is now 20% off. Super sweet. 20% off your first three months with Mana Traders using code TEAMNOVAMTG. Please check them out. They're awesome. The rental service is great. And yeah, I, they're awesome. Uh, next up, we have this is the Hipsters of the Coast, which is the content production website that Team Nova writes for. You can find the articles for me and all the rest of the team members up on Hipsters of the Coast, as well as plenty of other articles, podcasts, and some sweet merchandise for you. It's free to read some articles, listen to some podcasts. It doesn't cost you a dime. Supports Team Nova, so check them out. Link below to their home page. Last but not least, we've got the End Games, which is a store in Charlottesville, local to one of our players. They allow us to buy and rent cards at a discount. You can, too, using code TEAMNOVAMTG. You can save, I believe, 15%. I always forget. It's like 10 or 15%. It's, it tells you in the panels in the description where there's a link to their storefront on their website. You can save a little bit of money on some singles and sealed product, and you can support our lovely team. So check them out. They're great. We really appreciate their support, and I appreciate all of your support, and I'll check you next time.